Welcome back to our poetry unit. So far we've discussed what is poetry? What would I like to write poems about? How can we use poems to share life lessons or themes? How can we use sensory details to create a picture in our reader's mind? And how can we use figurative language to help our reader visualize what is happening? In our last lesson, we talked about three types of figurative language, similes, metaphors, and personification. We saw that these tools help the reader visualize or see what is happening in a story or poem. Similes compare two things using the word like or as. For example, her eyes shine like diamonds. Metaphors compare two things without using the words like or as. For example, Jordan was a tornado of emotions. Personification is when we give human traits to non-humans. For example, the fire danced. Fire does not dance, humans dance. You practiced using figurative language to describe these images. Let's talk about what you'll do today. If you're on your phone, make sure you're in print layout. If you're on your computer, fit your document to your screen. You'll start today by reviewing with a Quizlet and a video. Click here to view the Quizlet, read the vocabulary word, figurative language, and then click to see the definition. Make sure to go through all 16 flashcards. When you're done, there's a short video for you to watch. Next, you'll identify examples of similes, personification, and metaphor. For example, a family is like a circle. The connection never ends, and even if it breaks, in time it always mends. I would say the poetic device being used is a simile, because the poem compares families and circles using the word like. Find the figurative language in all three poems, and then it's time to get ready to write your own poem. Look at your heart map to find your topic, and then think of one simile, metaphor, and personification you'll use in your poem. If you get stuck, there are sentence starters to help you. Finally, it's time to create your poem. When you're done, reflect on the learning targets and let your teacher know if there's anything you need. Don't forget to press turn in when you're finished.